Hi, this is Captain Mike from Forbes Fishing, and in today's episode, we're going to make leashes for our offshore trolling rods. And I'm going to make these leashes, they will hold up to 500 pounds, and I'm going to make them for approximately $4 a piece. So stay tuned. The parts we're going to need to make the leashes, I'm using 500 pound offshore swivels and I got these on Amazon. Um, you get a pack of 20 of them for, I think it was like $22. So a little over a dollar, dollar a piece, right, for the, for the leash. Uh, this is 550 pound paracord. You can get whatever colors you want. Um, you can get this for as little as seven cents a foot. Uh, in a larger thousand foot spool. This is a 300 foot spool. I forget what the price per foot was for this one uh, But this you could also get on Amazon. And I'll put links to all this stuff uh, In the description uh, you want a pair of scissors and To burn the ends. I like a soldering gun with a flat uh, bladed tip uh, I've seen some people use torches, but I feel like I have more control over this so let's get started. All right, you can be more scientific with how you measure your paracord. I'm looking to make approximately six foot leashes. I have on my boat either a cleat or a railing uh, within six feet of every rod holder. So six feet is plenty enough for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out approximately 18 feet to start. And 18 feet, will allow me to double over on the leash so that it's two main strands and it'll give me approximately eight inches of braid on the one side. If you wanted more braid on the side, uh, just measure out more, more of the rope. So this eight inches is from approximately two lengths of 18 inch, no, I'm sorry, 36 inch. Um, 36 inches of paracord. So I'm just going to do 18 feet and no. Oh, and on the other end, we're going to end up tying an additional six feet into this end uh, to, to make the braid on the looped end. So the whole leash is 24 feet, and that's for a six foot, approximately six foot leash. Here's six. Here's twelve. And here's eighteen. I'm going to start this. I'm going to put two ends through the swivel. pull out to where I have three feet hanging over. And how am I going to test that? I'm really just going to use my wingspan again. So I'm going to grab the open loop on one end, I'm going to grab the swivel on the other end, and that's good enough for the fish I catch. Okay. Now I'm going to tie off with just a half, half hitch each one of these ends. Sorry, it seems awkward on reaching around the camera to try to tie these knots. It's kind of a pain. Okay. So what you'd have now is two two center ones 
and you have the two which go the full length and then you have the two ends that are basically three footers okay for the cobra knot we're going to go across the front with the one tag end behind and through on the other Right here, you'll see my two long ends are loose, and that makes it harder. You want to uh, attach those to something, and right here I'm, I'm attaching them to the front of this uh, patio chair uh, just to make them tight, and that makes making these knots a lot easier. And tighten that up. Okay, now in the Cobra knot, whichever side has this uh, portion of the cord going up and down is the one you're starting with. And that's going to alternate every time. So now my band is over, that downward loop is over here. If I was using different colors, this would be more obvious, I guess. Bands over here, so I'm switching over the top, under. I'm trying to cinch this up pretty good. Over the top, behind the loop. Okay. When you get to the end, we're going to burn these off. I'm going to leave about an eighth inch extra. And you'll see why. I'm going to melt that eighth inch piece down into a solid plastic button. So with the colors that I went with, it, the black, the burnt uh, paracord kind of blends in. Okay, so we have the side that's going to attach to the reel now. Some nice tight braids. And I'm basically going to hold this line, slide all the way down to the other end. make approximately an eight inch loop. I'm going to do that by just tying a half hitch in it. I'm going to leave it loose for the time being. Now this is the loop that will go through one of my cleats and over the ears or through a railing, or I play, push the whole thing through the railing. Okay, here's why we left the top part loose. I have another six foot length here, power cord. That I'm sliding through, making sure the two ends are even.
and then I'm going to tighten down on that. So now it's the same scenarios on the real one. Okay, so I have my line, two main lines kind of attached to the bottom of this chair so it's taut. And I'll start my cobra weave over here. Doesn't matter which side to start with, left or right. You could do this with multiple colors, looks pretty good. I'm not that fancy. And again, every time, wherever you have this kind of downward uh, loop, that's the one you're starting with, and that one comes over the top. Same thing as the other side. I'm going to leave it about an eighth inch long. Let's see if we can see this. So here's what the finished leash looks like. We have about eight or nine inches of uh, cobra weave on each side. I have a big loop that I could either uh, tie to a cleat or could wrap through uh, one of my rails, side rails. I have the 500 pound swivel. I've got 550 pound power cord. Let's go test it from a weight perspective. Okay, so I have the leash attached with the swivel here. I'm a little over 200 pounds. And when you hop up and down it makes it a little worse. So. Well, I don't think You're never going to have uh, 200 pounds of drag on one of your reels. So as long as your drag is set up properly, I think this is more than sufficient for your offshore reels. Okay, this is why I like using a swivel, a giant snap swivel for this. Uh, this is a uh, Avid 30, but this swivel fits nicely on the bottom lug which keeps it out of your way you could actually pick this reel up and crank on it even with the leash attached uh, or if your reel only has the lugs on the top obviously this fits perfectly up there as well
and loop side, like I said, we'll go over a cleat or if there's no cleat around, but you have a railing, you just loop it through like that, pretending that this is a, uh, a rail on the boat. Give it a half hitch and then attach it to the reel and you're set. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and tight lines.